so <clears throat> so this are areas which is creating low pressure areas and this is uh, creating where there is obstruction where there is wind uh, that is incident on this uh, surface so it is creating high pressure and these areas it is creating again low pressure here it is creating a uh, more low pressure and it is also creating a drag is yes, because of this air movement that is laminar flow it is here there are some you can say turbulent air flow is uh, created because of this form of this you can say building or you can say uh, the built space yes so okay and uh, <clears throat> some principles uh, for inside air movement you can consider that if i am having uh, so this air has to pass through so giving that a very good ventilation okay here there are certain areas where there is creating high pressure areas is high pressure and this area is again low pressure area where there is a smaller air change happening at the ends but there is more air change happening in the path of the air movement yes where there is path of air movement then we can have more air change so this kind of arrangement can be done where when, uh, where i need uh, some spaces uh, let's say so it can be uh, natural ventilation or it can be induced ventilation also let's say there is an operation theater where uh, i can't use uh, uh, the outside air for operation theater because it might bring in lot of dust particles or you can say uh, infectious uh, virus or bacteria so then i used processed i'll filter that and then i'll put into this uh, operation theater then also we are trying to use this kind of air flow where air is flowing and it is going out or it can go uh, go uh, that is from the top it can escape from the top also yes if i am considering this as a section of the room it can escape from the top if i am considering plan so this is giving a very good cross ventilation you can see the air is moving through and through and some areas uh, it is also having certain kind of air uh, uh, change but it is very slow here the air change is very fast now <clears throat> there are two uh, the things uh, uh, we are not considering the hvac or ac systems but uh, considering natural ventilation you can say so one which has inlet i think i discussed this in last class also yes i'm just repeating it so inlet is bigger and outlet is smaller so here what happens there is lot of air that is entering inside the building okay inside the block but it is not able to escape so here it is creating again high pressure area yes Uh, because of this it might slow down the process of uh, air that is passing okay again slowly it might build up high pressure here okay if it is a very small opening then there is very slow uh, exit of air okay although this air is cooler and this air is if let's say this air is a hot air so it is entering uh, the building okay so here uh, what happens here the venturi effect takes place because the air is Uh, passing through a smaller volume yes a smaller space so here the hot air enters the building and uh, while exit it it uh, happens to be uh, it it reduces the temperature of the air okay because because of this opening so if we reverse this process yes if we have let's say a smaller uh, inlet and a bigger outlet then what happens here the air is cooled is yes, here it is cool and it enters and it here it creates certain turbulences because again there is lot of uh, uh, there is a bigger exit which means there is lot of air that is that has a it has a capacity to remove lot of air outside okay and one more thing as it uh, as the air is used inside the building is yes, now we usually use this for ventilation uh, let's say for hot climates and other things we use it for cooling is yes, uh, when the outside temperature is less and or on the inside temperature is more then this cooling happens yes if the outside temperature is more if the outside temperature is less then the inside temperature is more uh, so then what happens uh, uh, sorry outside temperature is uh, uh, less and inside temperature correct yes is more so then we can use it as for cooling purposes yes we can cool this we can regulate the size of openings by giving shutters to windows yes so but we need to have certain kind of arrangement where we can control this air flow or uh, you can say you can control this air flow okay so if you are providing uh, uh, shutters to control this air movement uh, that uh, uh, for the inlet and outlet and also trying to regulate the pressure because of the size of the openings yes uh, because of size of openings you can regulate this 
uh, movement inside yes so this arrangement is very good for let's say tropical or hot climates where the hotter air uh, tries to enter and it, it reduces the temperature and it takes it again gets heated up because of uh, the room uh, because of maybe whatever the people occupants yes it might be a gym it might be a classroom where there are a lot of people sitting and there is a lot of heat that is being um, uh, taken away by the process of you can say convection yes because this happens as nothing but convective cooling happens in this uh, you can say room or area okay now i think we discussed this also where internal arrangement of walls so if it is in the direction of the air so that then again it is creating a laminar air flow and the air flow happens very fast if it is obstructing then there is little bit turbulence and also it is creating certain kind of obstruction okay Uh, so please take down these sketches also okay so first take down this sketch where there is bigger opening and a smaller opening uh, so if you understand these principle i think it will be easy to understand uh, why uh, uh, like uh, what kind of arrangement has been done in tropical uh, climates in terms of let's say planning or in terms of uh, providing different elements in building like you can say uh the jali walls yes or uh, corridors how corridors were acting for the uh, air movement or what kind of uh, built and unbuilt spaces what were the uh, kind of arrangement of built and unbuilt spaces and uh, what kind of uh, ventilation it was creating so i want you to understand these techniques first so it is easy to understand the complicated architecture yes so you can say the architecture is nothing but result of all these uh, climatological studies so that is when you create a comfortable living environment okay or else if you are just uh, trying to create uh, uh, spaces and forms and these things that if it is not uh, as per the uh, climate or thermal comfort it may not sustain for a longer period again you might to have install uh, ac or you have to use other systems which will again increase the cost and it also it will ruin the aesthetics or yeah. so that would not be a very good architecture okay it would be a good ac uh, design so these kind of arrangement uh, usually works in public buildings or public spaces like gallery spaces or we can say other spaces but they don't work well with uh, residential the things where there are bedroom like let's say if there is this, this is a bedroom then you can't have this arrangement because usually you are keeping this doors closed yes so you need privacy so you are keeping the door closed and it might be a toilet or some this things so then we are considering so public buildings where the doors are open and there is uh, some kind of you can say uh, there is a chance for air movement okay so then it works but whereas for residential buildings or uh, these things where we consider most of the time the door to be closed so then it doesn't happen unless and until you are having like living and dining spaces yes or uh, yeah if you are having let's say open kitchen or some kind of spaces like that so then we can you can use these kind of uh, principles yes but if you are considering like classrooms classrooms also it doesn't work because we are trying to consider the doors to be closed in uh, these things but whereas uh, for other open areas like office spaces where there is you can say uh, there is open space and this is a window and this thing so then you can consider uh, if the door is like entry to this block is somewhere here and this, this there is no obstruction basically it should not have some kind of uh, obstruction and uh, this thing okay so then you can have this kind of arrangement to get a particular kind of ventilation or air flow okay okay i'll move on to the next sketch next uh, this things illustration so this explains uh, where i'm having opening uh, and this uh, this thing so initially what i had uh, an opening at the opposite end so it was having very good cross ventilation so this is not supposed to be a very good uh, uh, cross ventilation where there is lot of air movement that is happening from one window to other so there is an inlet and there is an outlet yes but whereas there is some air change that is happening in this areas also okay it is not that uh, but they don't experience the air flow this area experiences lot of air flow because of the movement of this air okay so air doesn't go like this and then it will 
air when it enters any uh, building any room it tries to uh, uh, find a way to uh, exit it tries to find a way to flow yes so it will try to find the shortest air the shortest uh, 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 you know direction where it can flow okay uh, fluently yes so that is why it takes this path instead of taking a path that is going inside and hitting this other walls yes but uh, eventually what happens because of this air flow this happening here so there is kind of some kind of air flow which is you can say air circulation is happening in this other side of the room also yes but this happens very slow uh, so basically you can say this where we where you don't need uh, breeze or these things if you are saying that there is lot of air so that if the wind speed is very high then you can give this kind of arrangement also where you need where you don't need a lot of air movement yes where you don't need lot of air movement so then you can have yes this kind of arrangement yes uh, so considering this kind of openings also you can arrange what are the what can the activities that might be happening in this room okay so let's say if there is um, if there are lot of books papers and these things where you don't need lot of air movement but you need some air change then you can have this kind of arrangement where Uh, you don't get breeze but there is some air change air exchange that is happening here yes so this can be a very good example for let's say library block where uh, you don't need lot of air movement because sometimes uh, breeze also causes lot of or air movement which is more than you can say uh, 15 uh, meter per second yes so that is also causing lot of uh, disturbance yes 10 to 15 more per meter per second also causes uh, disturbance so then you try to have this kind of arrangement where these areas ex, uh, uh, these areas exchange the air yes there is some odor or there is foul air so this exchange happens very slowly yes now the air here is getting exchanged with the fresh air very slowly and this is taking out here yes so this you can say it is a kind of arrangement and you can see the further implication on the uh, because of the form you can see here there is negative pressure or you can say the drag that is creating if i am creating let's say one small opening here so then there is a tendency of air moving in this direction okay small uh, air moving in this direction and uh, you yeah. uh, know now i have a question uh, yes if i am making a opening here and if i am closing this opening yes if i am making an opening here uh, if i am having an opening only this area okay so the air movement is in the same direction yes or i'll or i'll give i'll, I'll try to ask uh, this with this example yes in this the air is moving in this direction if i'm closing this opening then what happens does this building get the, the this interior space gets air flow if i'm closing this opening it inlet but no no sir yeah there is no air movement at all now what happens uh, uh, here yes uh, there is very less ventilation if i am closing this opening because there is no inlet because there is only outlet but what happens there is some air turbulence that we can see here in this sketch what they are showing they trying to show this yes so this will also pull the air in from inside yes so there is very less ventilation that is happening in Uh, if i am closing if i am having only one opening okay it is very important to have two openings that is one is inlet one is outlet now based on the position or location of that opening uh, we can say uh, what kind of uh, uh, air movement happens within that building is yes? so as i am giving this example where if, if uh, let's say library or other things where i am using this as reading space so this is considering in plan so based on the activities i try to give the air movement okay it is also not just in reference with the plan okay it is also you can say you can also consider in reference with section like which section uh, uh, what should be the height of the window what should be the height of ventilators yes ventilators are usually the function of ventilators is to is to take out the hot air it is to take out the used air okay now it depends on where i give this kind of opening so that i can it can be more effective if i don't want breeze i need to locate it to the windows in such a way that i don't get the breeze yes uh, sometimes a person might be going through uh, uh, 
so based on the different you can say um, uh, body type yes if if uh, there is a person who doesn't like uh, this thing of uh, air movement or air breeze um, he might be having certain kind of phobias or certain this thing so then we need to have certain kind of arrangement where there is air change is very important because again it builds up infections it builds up a, a, a bad odor okay so that that is why we need air change but the person should may not be uh, wanting to feel the air change yes but sometimes what happens a person might be willing to have he wants an air change air movement okay now there is this kind of arrangement where it is criss cross or you can say uh, it is on the opposite side so this is considered also considered to be one of, one of the very good ventilation where some area is a major part of the area is not experiencing you can say the air movement okay but this uh, the path along which the air flow is happening it experiences a very good breeze yes but there is air change is happening in this also okay so you can take down these sketches one yes and this also okay so this is in regards with plan slowly we will try to understand in, in in regards with section also what should be the height first we will try to understand what is the location okay so <clears throat> you yeah. so this is very good for a you can say uh, if i'm if i want to have bed here or bed here or what kind of arrangement if i'm having a uh, kitchen or this thing so it depends on uh, different activities yes so now here we can see so this is again a similar example where there is i think these are all the similar examples where there is air movement happening in inside the building okay so because of certain all kind of obstructions here you can see this portion where um here you can see this in this uh, sketch uh, where you can see uh, the left uh, bottom corner uh, yeah so here the air uh, is trying to is no, there is no air movement in this area because there is no outlet yes because here is an outlet the air tries to find an outlet yes it tries to move in this shortest path so there is no uh, lot of air movement that is happening here okay and even here also because this is not in the direction this opening is not in the direction of the incident uh, air so that is why it is creating this kind of but there is some kind of exchange that is happening okay it is a very slow air movement slow exchange that is happening okay so this is considered one of the very good arrangement and uh, this internal arrangement based on the different internal arrangement you can see the air is split and it tries to uh, take the uh, exit yes it tries to move out here also it is trying to move out here it is creating more turbulences compared to this kind of arrangement where the wall is in the direction of the wind uh, the, the longer axis in the direction of the wind it creates less turbulence and it creates more and faster air movement here if it is uh, uh, perpendicular to the direction of air movement then it is creating certain kind of turbulence yes and it is creating certain kind of uh, you can say um, uh, there is lot of uh, uh, turbulence is created in uh, uh, and here it, what happens here it is spread through the larger extent because of this obstruction so the air is going to the larger extent of the room okay here the air is not going to the complete larger extent uh, yeah. so this is one kind of arrangement uh, so this is again the same so this is what i was saying the shutter kind of shutter okay so we always give shutters so it is very important to see which way it should open if i am opening the shutter in the opposite direction then i am not able to harvest the air so if i am opening the shutter in this so it acts as a fin okay it acts as a fin where it will take the air inside yes here you can see it, it takes the air inside yes so it depends if i am if i am placing it here so the air is hitting here and it is going out so it, it the air in this case what you can see um i think we'll start with this first case where it is where you can see the shutter is opening this side so it is creating it is trying to harvest the wind direction it is in the direction of the wind so it is causing so what happens it is uh, it is trying to take in lot of air now this what happens it is also creating some kind of venturi effect here yes you can see this it is creating little bit of venturi effect uh, because lot of air and uh, here the uh, wind speed is also increasing and it is also trying to cool the air okay uh, so there might not be like uh, uh, a major uh, change in the temperature of outside air to inside air 
but there will be some uh, minimum change that depends on the size of opening and size of the, if i'm providing jelly here then considerably there will be lot of uh, temperature drop in the air yes so this you can see here so the air it is hitting this window pane or it might be a, a opening so it tries to go inside this and it is try to enter the block yes and it is trying to uh, exit because this air the air which is also uh, going like this so it is creating it is trying to pull the air yes because of this obstruction okay so here you can see the same openings but with different kind of shutters that is opposite end of the shutters here there is less ventilation because of the placement of these shutters you can see okay yeah so this can be you can say shutters or it can be sometimes it can be the shading devices also it can be uh, projections or it can be some kind of walls so that is also creating some kind of you can say effect on the air movement yes uh, these sketches are also very important please take down these sketches yes so what kind of air movement so here the window size is same the room size is same just because of placing of these uh, you can say fins or you can say these objects the air movement is more here the air movement is less yes yeah now coming to the second example where there is you can say here also there is uh, both the these things are in same direction but what happens here uh, the air uh, what you can say it is happening uh, air movement is happening because of uh, this object or you can say this fin it is trying to take air inside yes and it is this automatically it happens that uh, air tries to exit and because of this it is creating you can say some kind of pressure you can say because of this you can say uh, uh, you can say bernoulli effect also because it is creating a negative pressure here so it is trying to pull it is create, trying to create a drag yes so but what happens here uh, because of this obstruction it tries to flow in this direction so there is no air movement a uh, lot of air movement happening inside this room okay even though the same size of openings just because of the location of these you can say fins or uh, objects is yes? so this is very good example where you can try to have harvest lot of air because of this uh, air uh, because of this thing and it is covering major part of the room yes um, okay so again there is so this uh, this uh, you can say this is very good if i am having wind direction in this direction one direction and i can provide only windows on one most of the times it happens that we can't provide windows in all the directions yes because there might be adjacent uh, some block some room or you can say uh, some other space which i can't give ventilation we can which i can't take borrow or ventilation from other rooms or other sides yes i we have only option that is one wall and i try to take uh, i need to design this block in such a way that i can harvest lot of air yes yeah. <clears throat> now coming to the third example what we can see is uh, yeah here it is also uh, the because of this object or you can say it can be shutter i am repeating it it can be sh sh the shutters the way we uh, organize shutters also it is also the way we uh, or we can take some kind of you can say stone slab or you can build a brick wall itself or a smaller wall uh, or you can say this can be an element and design it can be a fin it can be uh, any kind of uh, 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 it can be made up of different materials and the things the but the function of this is to uh, divert the wind yes divert the air inside or outside these blocks yes yeah. so this is how i think you can say um, where it is creating uh, uh, so this uh, what they have done is uh, because of the uh, distance from the uh, so here they have reduced the distance so because of this distance is reduced again there is less uh through the improved ventilation so there is air that is entering inside the room and it is trying to take the exit yes here also it is trying to take and because the exit is in the other end so it is traveling to the major part of the room here it is not traveling through the major part of the room okay i hope it is very simple and uh, this thing very easy to understand
and here what happens here it is creating both kind of high pressure areas which is also not very good yes phone beko bega ba yeah so phone in it des than ikke who is that somebody want to go to devasthana i can go man sorry sir it was me okay see here what happens uh, uh, there is the uh, high pressure that is positive pressure that is high pressure minus indicates low pressure okay so high pressure or incident air and this is again you can say uh, the air which is going out so this is considered low pressure this is considered high pressure these are also not very good uh, kind of ventilation because the air will not try to enter because there is air which is also uh, putting lot of pressure from this direction and also from this direction so there might be little air change again there is there might be slow air change that is happening inside these blocks but there won't be air movement like you can't feel the breeze or air movement yes but you can you can feel such you can uh, uh, feel that there is air that is changing yes uh, air inside uh, happens to exchange with outside air but you can't feel the breeze in both these cases yes i think you can take down these sketches also yes so these are very important again yeah next we'll go to the section or uh, form of the building yes